Hello out there YouTube. What's going on guys? It is D-Done here. The most chill COD player bringing you a pretty fast DNA bomb. I mean it's not super fast, but it's pretty fast. I'm using the AK-12 uh, feeder with a quick draw suppressor and extended mags. And one of those attachments is exactly what I want to talk about today, which is the suppressor. Um, if you, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like in Advanced Warfare, not a whole lot of people run suppressors. Um, and I think a lot of that just has to do with the fact that a lot of your gunfights are at range because people are flying around everywhere. And also because pretty much all the guns in this game feel like really need grip in order to be really, really effective. Again, uh, because a lot of your engagements are kind of from a longer range. So you really need that precision to hit your long distance shots. And you kind of need all the range you can um, because of the long distance. So adding the suppressor kind of kills your range. So pretty much the only other game that you know I think was um, not suppressor dominant uh, was Black Ops 2, especially if you played Domination. Not a whole lot of people um, ran suppressors. I think a lot of that just had to do with uh, the fact that you had like the counter UAV and the VSAT. So if you could get those non-lethal streaks, you didn't necessarily need a suppressor. Um, but if you're running lethals, I think it helped a lot. Um, now you could make an argument that it was about 50-50. Um, lethal games, you saw a lot of suppressors. Non-lethal games... Uh, you know, you saw a lot of unsuppressed weapons. Whereas in this game, it, it just feels like almost no one runs suppressor. And like I said, I think a lot of that just has to do with the fact that, you know, uh, the class setups. So then my question is, is, uh, you know, in Black Ops 3, do you think suppressor, suppressors will be a, a big part of the game? And also, do you think that it should be? Um, rather it should be or not, uh, I don't know. Um, I think that uh, that it that it should be. I think suppressors do have its place. Now, when you think about Modern Warfare 3, the sounds ACR, the sounds MP7. No matter what gameplay you were going for, pretty much everyone ran a silencer in that game. When you think about Ghost, pretty much everyone ran a suppressor, except for like on the Vector, which a lot of people did use. But I would say for the most part, pretty much everyone used suppressors. You know, suppressed LMGs, the Honey Badger. Um, but in this game, it just doesn't seem to work out. And since the movements don't seem to be as crazy in Black Ops 3 as they do here in Advanced Warfare. I think suppressors will have their place. I think they'll be a little bit more prominent. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. I mean, personally, I have used stealth since Call of Duty 4. Um, I've almost always run a suppressor. It's just I feel comfortable. It helps you against good players. It helps you against bad players. So there's really you know, no fault running it. It's just like I said, in Advanced Warfare, I feel like it almost hurts you uh, more than it helps you. But anyway, that is a video for you today guys i don't know why i'm stuttering so much but i would love to see your guys's comments down below about what you guys think about the commentary topic do you think uh suppressors will be and do you think they should be a big part of call of duty and especially in black ops 3 but that's the video like i said if you did enjoy it then leave a like if you hated it then dislike it and leave me a comment why make sure to check out all links below in the description and if you are new and you enjoy my content and subscription is always appreciated and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn.